In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PHP script to store and retrieve data using MySQL. This script that we're looking at is an enhanced version of a script we're using earlier. Recall the uh, connect and select DB statements. The new portion of this script does two things. One is it uh, stores data in the people table, and then it retrieves the data that we've written. The data we'll be writing is a string, the person's name, and a number, the person's age. To write the data into the table, we use a, an SQL query. The syntax of the query is insert into the table name people, set, and then each of the fields, name equals person name, age equals person age. Recall that there was also a field for ID. We don't set that because when we created the table, we asked MySQL to number for the ID automatically. Then we pass our insert into query into MySQL. That causes this data to be stored in the people table. Now to get the data back from the database, we use a different query, the select query. This simply means select all the fields from the people table. And when that query is run, it returns a result, which is effectively a table of rows. Each contains one record in the table. Uh, we should expect one record because we've only written one record into the table. This for loop then walks through this table, fetching one row at a time. Each row is effectively an array. Element 0 corresponds to ID, element 1 corresponds to name, and element 2 corresponds to age. This loop then prints using an HTML paragraph statement the person's ID, their name, and age incorporated into this string. After all the rows are read, and once again we should be expecting only one row, the script closes the connection to the MySQL database. Okay, now let's open a browser window and run this script. HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 81 slash store and retrieve data using MySQL the PHP enter and we see a message success person with ID equals one is Sam and is 19 years old so our attempt to store and retrieve data in our people table is successful in the next video I'll show you more about using PHP and HTML